Welcome back guys to episode number three of our Draft to Glory Road to Turku franchise mode. We are in the season two off season. Uh, following the draft, Aaron Kibi Harju had a great rookie season for us. Let's take a look at the roster here. We drafted Laksonen, I believe it was third overall. No, we drafted Pekka Laksonen second overall in the draft this year. He comes with great breakaway finishes for all alone. He's got a solid shot out the gate, got some good speed, great passing. He's definitely going to help us up front for the young guys. Kapanen's all the way up to a 77, which is massive for us. Uh, another Kapanen, we got lots of Kapanens here. Uh, but yeah, like, we have a good chance at starting to see uh, some progress here. Kibi Harger's a 79. Again, Kapanen 77, as I was saying. No dev traits for Kibi Harju yet. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but we did draft a low elite in Tuka Teravinen. So hopefully he can move up. Same thing with uh, Kai Hacken, another one that we drafted this year who's looking like he could do something in the future. And goaltenders, we could really use another French starter. So with that said, let's get underway with free agency here and see what we can do. Ideally, you want to add a couple forwards here. Go to the two-way potential. And see what you can do. If we have to move out a couple contracts, um, we will. We, and then we'll just move the picks to whoever has the top overall pick in the draft type thing. With that said, let's go take a look here. See if we can find some fins here. Again, they have to be under the age of 21. 21 or younger, and we can take them. So let's look here. And, come on, just keep scrolling here. We should be able to get a couple. If we can land a forward, that'd be nice. Squires is not. Johansson's Swedish. Come on, we're still looking here, chat. Kilpinen, I believe, was one. 71. Ah, he's Swedish. Man, I thought for sure that would be a Finn. That is unfortunate. Weeman, nope. A little, no. Winterton, no, he's Canadian, I know that. Or American, one of the two. Ludwinski? Nope. Haminaho? Thank you, that's a forward. Uh, he's an NHL potential forward. That will help out the team moving forward. He might even crack the opening night lineup at that overall. Medium bottom six and high bottom six. Can we get a player? 20 years old. Ferrand? Nope, he's Canadian. Uh, look in here. Kulikov, I don't think so. Nope, he's Russian. Sim, no. Nope. Euronin? There we go. We got another forward, and he's actually a high overall, too. We like to see that. We actually could win some games this year, chat. Uh, so we got two contracts there, so I'm going to have to move out a couple. I'm going to look for, again, defensemen here, see if we can find anyone. As of right now, we're going to have to move out two forwards, and that's looking like it's going to be about it as of right now. Coglin won't fit. Peltonen, that's another Finn. We like to see that, boys. So we're going to give him that max entry level. Uh, can we get another f one more Finn would be ideal. If we can get one more defenseman and maybe a goalie. No, he's Swedish. Can we get one more? That is the question here. So 7th, Chubarov, no. Lindgren, no. Tutin? Nope, he's Russian. Booth, Smith, come on. Korolek, nope, Russian. Uh, Versteeg, I think he's Swedish. No, he's American. Man, we're just looking for one more D-man would be ideal. He's not. Pinoka, nope. Unfortunate. Edward, no. Spurgeon and Matherin, maybe? Maybe, maybe. Nope, didn't get anything on that one either. Uh, Malik, Kovalev, I don't believe any of them are. Yasu? Thank you, we got one. He's a low seventh, but again, it is what we need, so we will gladly assign him. Two forwards, two defensemen looking like we need to move out. And in goal, can we land a fringe starter? Lindbergh, no. Bjornsson, no. Goran, no. Too old. Altasar and Vishnevsky, I don't believe were. Nope. Vedenpa, maybe? 
Let's go. 20 year old, 65 medium fringe starter. That is going to help the team. We now have another NHL potential goaltender. We really need to develop these guys. So we need to trade a goalie, two forwards, and two defensemen. We're just going to take one pick and trade a pick. Uh, just to kind of move them out. So, again, AHL potential. They're going to be the guys that we trade. One, two. So, yeah. These guys can go... Uh, and actually, we're going to take the lowest overall guys, though. We're going to get a little picky here. So, two of them. And defensively, we got to move up two more as well. So, we're going to have to be him and this guy because, again, 61 at 22 years old. Going to be the least developing guy. Get him out. And we got to move one goalie as well. A low AHL starter. He is out the door as we build this team up. Got to find a team with cap. Arizona, of course, you're going to have cap as you always do. And we're going to take a seventh off your hands because, yeah, because Arizona would definitely accept that. Uh, yep, that, that sums up a lot. Now we will take a look at the coaching staff and scouts here. Coaches look not terrible. Could definitely be better. Um, if we can upgrade a coach here, that would be nice. But let's kind of wait and see here. Ooh, Hextall. 58% fit. What's the guy that we got right now? 58% fit. So, I mean, I what's his teaching? Yeah, I know. We got to fire this guy. And we are going to hire a brand new coach with A potential, which will definitely help us. Hopefully, he won't take Minnesota, Arizona, or Pittsburgh's offer. Hopefully, we can land him and see what we can do there. Okay, so we're up to 5.8. Again, this is going to take a minute. Honestly, I have a good feeling about this year so far. I feel like we're going to make some progress, and we're going to be able to make some moves. Just got to get something. So NHL head coach, thank you very much. Uh, NHL associate at a B. I'm going to have to take a look there. See what our associate... We don't even have an associate. Okay, no, the associate's a B-. minus. The assistant's a C. Can we... Let's see C. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, AHL head coach is a C. AHL assistant, D-. minus. Uh, gonna have to take a look at that. AHL head, B-. minus. Fine. C-, minus. so nothing. AHL head coach, again, if we can get the right guys in the system for the American League, that can help us moving forward. Ooh, Zacharias. The centers like him. La Migo Lamnin loves him. Okay, that could be big. That could be big, guys. So, again, B minus. So, I feel like I had. That's what it was. Okay, it was a C, but C B minus, basically the same. Um, I'm not too worried about that. Scouts again. If we can get le an upgrade in the Nordic region, which. Looks like we might. I, I wouldn't mind hiring another one between there and Europe. Like, Europe, the best is B minus. Nordic, it's B. Again, if it's an A plus per Liga, then, then we'll take it. But it's got to be an A plus, A plus per Liga. We like that. So we'll sign this guy. Give him as much as it allows us. There we go. And um, yeah, fuck it. We'll sign Suomen in as well. And let's see if everybody will sign with our team. We could really use it. On to the next date. We got the head coach we needed. That is huge. We got a scout. We got another scout. Okay, scouts are in. We got Hemini Hemino. That's a big signing. We got the goalie. We got Peltonen. We got Yasu. Everybody is on this team. Let's go. We can skip to the next season now. Euronin as well. Everybody has signed. On to season three, you guys. Where we will look to build off a franchise record 12-point season. If we can build on that, it's going to be big. 
So let's see what we can do here. I would love to see Kibi Harju take a step forward. I would love to see the young guys keep on developing. That would be the perfect scenario for this team. Let's look at the edit lines here. We're probably going to have to do a lot of switching around. Again, the top line is so much better in this situation. We have a okay team, some 60, I mean some 70 overalls finally. Like this team could win some games. Like we could win some games this year, you guys. Uh, so those AHL potential guys I do want to send down. Kibi Herger's up to an 80. That is big. That is very big for us. Malinen set medium seven. The low six, ideally, if we can, I like to play him up there. And those guys, I'm fine with that. Goal is Mary Lanen's a 76. Okay, he's developing. He's developing. That is so good. Uh, Valley, he's probably going to get sent down, depending on ratings. V yeah, he's going to get sent down. Vedenpaw is going to be coming up, I think. Make sure we get the right guy. Yeah, see, because Vinny's got to be playing. So, low backup. Uh, Again, Vedenpaw's... Yep, goaltending we gotta fix up here. The AHL goalie is gonna be sent down. So, Valley. Yeah, Valley can go. Then in the system, Vinny is getting called up. And again, then we can just run the NHL goalies, which is huge for us. Because we can really build this team up now that we're making some progress. And I figure by. Like, this team could be respectable by year five, I feel like. If we keep getting that pieces each year, we can be respectable very soon. Again, two, if these two can hit 75, 76, again, Laksonen's going to be phenomenal. Kapanen, if he can, I mean, he's already 79, so he's there. If your Ronin can, if your Ronin can reach, again, 77, 78 even, and then we draft a couple more kids, like, this team's not all that far away. Defensively, yes, is our issue, but we're not that far out like people think. Like, we're right there defensively. Give him another year there. Medium six, Rajaniemi is one that we could very much use. Him and Heinen can patrol the blue line in the American League. Yasu's going to be playing there. Pisonen, we got to get some ice on. So he can play there. Um. Again, make sure potential-wise. Yeah, ha Hamanaho, he's going to be coming up for sure. And Hacken, I feel like I should bring up. And we also signed Taro Solani. Potentially the child of Timu. Um, okay, Hamanio and Hacken is the two that I need to get up. So we're going to do that real quick here. Get the forwards, Hamanio. And... Hacken was Odin another one? No, Odin was not. So Hacken and Hamino, these guys can move on up. The NHL guys, um, AHL potential forward, they're gonna be going. So those two can go, and I believe that officially gets rid of all of our issues um, with the American League guys that were on this team. So now we fill this out uh, as we have issues with it. Hamaneo, welcome to the team, and welcome to the NHL. And Hacken, welcome to the NHL, buddy. This team actually works pretty good for synergies. Oh, Hamaneo can actually... Hamaneo can make this team better. I mean, he's 20 years old. He's 22. But again, 72 overall. I really don't want to bump him down too much. No, we got to... Vice and Ainen can go there. I mean, Kapanen if we bump him down, but I re again, I really don't want to. Uh, Hamaneo, I mean, he's going to be good for us. I mean, we need the development, so we're just going to do this. Give the guys that need ice time the ice time. I feel like we're okay with that. Medium 9. Ah, the guys that are medium 9 kind of concern me, though. I mean, eight, these guys are both... I mean, can any of them take face-offs? They cannot. So... We really could use another... Mm, that's not ideal. Um, 
What's her scratches look like? Suomi AHL Heinonen AHL. This team does look like it's got some potential though, which is very nice to see moving forward here. Uh, the offense got some moves to make here. Hall medium six. I'm okay with that. And right wing, that's fine. Vera Lane, again, we just got to find the right guys here with NHL potential. Medium six, as of right now, Sarah Lainen's going into the lineup. Matinen, low nine. Going to take the low nine because of the potential. And again, Laminen, he can go up there. We just want to give the AHL, I don't care about the lines. I just want to make sure the guys who need the minutes get their minutes. Get that. AHL. Medium six. That's what we want here. And I did see the low elite is in the lineup here. So, Tara Vinen, this is a kid that we need to develop properly. He's going to get the big minutes in the American League here. Because he does have the best fit on the top line. And Hall. Again, he's a grinder. So he fits one of these bottom lines. So again, just got to be careful. The low nine center. I'm going to bump him up. Give him that ice time. Because Yervella, again, AHL bottom six. We don't need him getting minutes. So Tara Vinen's the one that we need to see get minutes here. So we're going to really make sure he gets that playing time. And that we can develop him the right way. And just load him up with minutes. The more we load him up with minutes, the better chance we have at him becoming an all-star for us. We could really use that. So with that said, let's pick our first ever captain in franchise history. Now that I feel comfortable in doing that. And we are going to give it. Well, as, after I uh, go to the right league, that is. Okay, now we should be good. Because again, I want to give it to Kibi Harju here. Is Kibi Harju is going to be the first captain in franchise history. So defense. Aaron Kibi Harju. You are now a captain. Laksonen, you are going to be an alternate because you're going to be here for probably your whole career. And that is fine with me. Now. No, I don't want to change numbers. <laughs> okay, let's go. We are officially, finally, the season one, I mean, the, sorry guys, the season three preseason. We do need to sign a cap whale or two though, because we do have 43 million in cap space. So yeah, we're going to sign a, a cap whale or two here. They're not going to see the ice, obviously. But, um, yeah, we gotta make sure we sign one. Take the lowest rated guy, preferably. If we can get it to be a fin, it's a bonus, obviously, but... Which it is. So, sign him. One year. 18 million dollars. And we're gonna do that with one more player as well. Again, another one. That's not on an entry-level deal, though. Okay. Uh, we're just going to sign this guy. Again, cap whale. Not to do uh, anything else other than eat up some cap space. Give them their lottery ticket, boys. Um, off to the preseason. Let's see how we can do this year. I think we're in a much better position now than we were in the past. Now there's some optimism that we can kind of get some wins here. And build up some points. So with that said, let's sim to the regular season after we look at the draft class. We don't have a fin at the top of the board, which is, that sucks. The, the first fin to go is until number 12. Oh, that sucks, I'm not going to lie. Sucks that there's nothing until 12. Then there's 18, so yeah, so we got some late first rounders here. And we're going to need them to uh, be big for us. Is there any Finnish goalies? There's one at 108, so he could potentially be something. We're just going to have to keep battling here, and hopefully we can get some good car good players in the draft. Yeah, I see Vinninainen. Oh, boy. This 
I'm just gonna go. Yeah, there's only two Finnish goalies that we're gonna have the option on. Skaters, Koistinen. You see, we're gonna get a good player in the second round. It seems that's where all the Finns are. But uh, yeah, we we're not getting anything early on. It looks like. Early on, we're gonna have to really hope for a miracle. I think. I'm gonna really need to hope for something there. See already some potential stuff there. Yeah, anything inside the top 200 is uh, kind of where we'll be picking them, so that is okay. Uh, just play it safe and take those ones. And by 200, I'm at 300. That was my mistake. Still going to make a mark on those guys. And let's get this season underway. See how the team does in 3, 2, 1. Let's dig in to the preseason and get this year underway we could really use some uh big development from kivi harger if he develops a few points hey like, a great season here would be kivi harger becoming an 83 and laxonin becoming over an 80 like if if we can get that development this team is going to look uh very good so let's skip to the end of the regular season here waste zero time I think we're going to set a franchise record in points this year. We have a win within the first three games. That's a good sign. We need 12 points to break the franchise record. Can we do it? We have three wins. We have three wins already. What is going on? What are we doing? We're actually winning games. We're 12 games in. And this team has already broken the front. Oh, no. We're one win away from the franchise We've already broken the franchise record for points in a season. We have absolutely taken a major step forward in this rebuild. We are still going to be last place. There is no question about it. But we have gone from having three wins in a season to already having ten in the first 30 games. This team is starting to make progress. We're still going to be the worst team in the league by far. But we have signs of life. This is huge for this team. We have life. We have 12 wins. We've fallen off a cliff since the beginning of the year. But that is okay. We have wins. We're finally winning games. San Jose, come on. We, want to... we haven't been... Uh... Yeah, no, it, we've come back down to reality. <laughs> we, we we did good for a while. We got another win there. Um, yeah, we did, we we definitely were outplaying our potential. As I say that, we went two in a row, went three of our last four. Um, <laughs> this team could hit twenty wins. We shouldn't by any means, but there's a outside chance this team can win twenty. Considering we only had three wins coming into, like, I think we had eight wins in franchise history coming into this season. And now we're at 16, 17. Can we get hot here and get 20 wins? That's the question. Come on, can we? We're at 17. I mean, we, we could make some happen here. Oh, man. We're not going to hit 20. But we have a chance at 40 points still if we can get a win and an OT loss. And we don't, but hey, 17 wins is so much better than we could have asked for. Oliver Kapanen leads the way in the, the, on the team at 52 points. Let's take a look at the ratings here. Laxonin's up to an 81. Let's go! That's a plus 3 for Laxonin. That is massive for this team. He picked up 19 goals, 32 assists. Good for 51 points in his rookie season. That is big. We got Pippi Ranta. He's still at 73. Amineo had 16 goals, 21 points. Bisonen, he had an okay year with 38. Hawken went up to a 62. He had 25 points. We're looking good. Marjala is still there. Defensively, we got Aaron Kivi Harju at an 80. He's still an 80. I would have liked to see more growth there. He had 39 points this year. Would have liked to see more growth out of him this season. Uh, Goaltending-wise, Vinny had two of the wins. 
on an 8.65. Mirror lane, again, that goals against average went from a 5 all the way down to a 4. And the save percentage, still just under a 9, but in front of this team, we take that. Now, down to the American League. Tara Vannon, how did he do? 25 points, 17 goals in his rookie year. That's fine. He's all He's gone up to a 60. He has gone up. Solani, Koisinen, the boys are developing. Laminen, again, moving up. We just got to keep growing these guys. Hall's up to a 59. He was a 58. Defensively, Rajaniemi's a 64. I think he started the year 62. Scratches, that's fine. Goaltenders, Vedenpa might be in the NHL next year. He posted a 900 save percentage with this team, which I did not think was possible. So, with that said, it's time for the draft. And I th we definitely need a forward again. If we can get another forward, then that's the play. Dude, the new MSP's got leaked. Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> EA cannot do anything right, man. You timed that perfectly, because I can easily cut this out of the video. But you have got to be kidding me, dude. How does EA screw that up? Again, man. In moments? Dude, are they still there? Are they... Kuzi? Dude, that card's going to be sick, man. If It's in 87? If it's an 87, oh my god, dude. I'm definitely going to build it if it's an 87 with good numbers. Oh my, that is so, God, why does EA have to EA everything? 886, oh, okay, I mean, depending on his numbers, I guess it could be good, but I mean, you look at his base card and like, you figure like Kuznetsov's base card has good speed, what's that 86 gonna look like? Oh my God, that is wild, like just mind blowing. And I got 85 over you. Je Jesus Christ, Jonah. <laughs> Your pack luck has been phenomenal, dude. Oh, no. And we look at the draft lottery here. We miss out on the number one pick again, but that's okay. There was no fins projected to go inside the top 10 anyway. But Toronto jumps from 10 all the way to 1. And Seattle from 6 to 2. We fall from 1 to 3. Meaning, a lot of teams are moving on down. So now we will look at the draft here. After we check out the retired players and see what happens. Blake Wheeler has called it a career. Jeff Carter, Jordan Stahl, Paul Stasny, Sam Gagne, Jack Johnson are the biggest names. Goalies, Yaro Halak, and Jonas Enroth call it quits. So let's take a look here. Paul Stasny becomes a coach. Carter and Spurgeon become scouts. And now we gotta check out the draft here. Um, hopefully a Finn jumped up or it looks good. It's kind of what I'm hoping here. Oh yeah, because it's a Gavin McKenna draft. The Finns, potentially medium elite. Two years out, Markinen's gonna be probably the pick. I f oh, or is it Petrell? Marketing or Patrell? Patrell's confirmed two years out. But that's all he's confirmed on. Let's check the pins here. If we, again, we need this to be a good draft. If we can get some forward, good forwards this year, that would go a long way for this team. Heino, he's going to be four years out. Blomquist, I don't know anything about him. Uh, Pentakainen. Four years out, so he could potentially. No, we really... It uh, doesn't look like any of these goalies are going to be anything. Which is fine with me, but it's between Patrell, who's not really confirmed on anything. Which is unfortunate. Or And then the second round, we're looking at Kostinen, uh, Korsinen, for sure. Got a backup goalie there. Again, obviously we need more defensemen also. Mm. This draft is going to be tough to figure out. There's not really any steals for the Finns by the looks of it. 
But yeah, we're going to have to figure this out. Um, maybe one came out of nowhere, if we're lucky. I'm uh, going to take a look here just to make sure. Really got to make sure. Hopefully, hopefully one. it would be nice if one came out of nowhere, but I don't think that's the case. I think we're pretty well set here. Yeah, see, none of these kids are going to be anything, so let's hop back in. Get to the draft. We know we're taking a forward. Um, it's just a matter of how we're going to go about this. Here we go. First overall, Halak. The Leafs jump from number 10 to number 1. And they get a franchise potential center in the year 3 draft. Unbelievable. Wow. And we're going to have to take the first fin that is available to us. It's either... Man, the scout has this guy at 12 and Markinen at 13. Nothing is 4 star confirmed, but 3 B's and a B minus. This guy looks a bit worse, but again, nothing's 4 stars. Whew. 5'11 center, a 6'2 center. Mm. I'm going to take Petrell. Medium 6, 66. Petrell, I mean, uh, I really hope that other kid's not a, just cracked. I need this other kid to not be good. That's the joys of a franchise draft of glory. You really got to hit on your picks. Because if you don't, it's going to come back to bite you. Klein. Going to find out really quick here. Very low. Man, medium elite at number 9 is crazy. That's great for them. Okay. We're going to find out in the next about 5 picks here. Around pick 13 is where uh, Markkinen is supposed to go. Our pick was a medium 6. 66 overall. I'm really hoping... Please. 65. Thank God. So ours is a slightly better pick. We honestly couldn't have gone wrong with either one. But we will gladly take that. And Koistinen is going to be the next selection on this team. We could go defense here. But I want to load up the forwards first. Make sure we can actually score goals. It's another medium six. Come on. Okay we have two medium six guys. That is going to be huge. This has been the best draft that we've had so far. Just, come on. Just keep this draft going for us. 87. 87th overall. So right now Mietnan is going to be the pick. Right now it's going to be Mietnan, guys. Yep, it's looking like... Yep, Mietnan is going to be the pick. So we're going to take him. Another forward. Only a 59, but he's a medium 9. He is a grinder, but a medium 9. There's potential for us to work with that. So around 100 here is where this pick is. 177 could be another forward option. I feel like we do need to go defense though. I feel like we have to go defense at some point here. And there's only a handful of them. Blumfquist, no, it's looking like Latin and, or tu no, Tuola. Tuola is going to be the pick here. Hopefully we can get him. Medium 7, only a 50. He'll be in the American League next year. Come on, we need a good pick. Running out of time here. 176. 162, Heikinen. Uh, anyone that has better than D on everything? Like, we could really use a potential player here. Right now it's looking like Suhonen. Uh, Suhonen... Oh, this guy's AA B minus shooting. Man, what's Kuka? Kuka might have an X Factor. Kuka potentially has an X Factor. This would be big. If he has an X Factor, that's huge. Um, yeah, we have to take him. I feel like we. Oh man, but this guy looks okay too. But it's not confirmed. We're gonna take Kuka here. He's got less stats, but he potentially has an X Factor. 47, medium, bottom 6, no X-Factor. That sucks. I shouldn't have been baited by him. With that said, we're going to keep looking here. 
we're running out of options now. Uh, pack, again, Packer in and potentially a medium six. We're going to take him and then we're going to go defense in the seventh. Again, medium six. Not ideal. So now we're on to this one. Hino. Can we still get... Yeah, Blomkrist is the only defenseman left. We're going to take him. A low 7.55. And... Okay, I forgot that I had to trade, guys, so... Um, whenever we have to trade, guys, that's the only time that we can make the pick. Just because we had to clear out some space for to get the roster set. We take Solo. He's a low 9 out of 50. So, there we go. We will get through the resign phase. And then we will call this an episode. But we just got to get through the resign phase. I will show you guys the awards first. As the Buffalo Captain's up to an 81. Captain's an 81 now. That is huge. Pivot Ranch is up to a 75. Oh! Rex Sullivan's up to an 84. That is clutch. This team's going to take a massive step forward next year. But Kimmy Herger stays an 80. Vicenin's up to a 77. This team's going to move forward. We're not going to be a playoff team by any means. But this team's going to make steps. This team's making steps next year. What's the goalie situation? Mayor Landon stuck at a 76. Okay, we are in a much better place right now. That is huge. Seeing those upgrades uh, to this team is massive. So, let's, that said, take a look here. Buffalo wins the Stanley Cup over Nashville in seven games. Nashville lost out. Oh, no. Nashville beat Dallas in seven. Beat Minnesota in five. And beat the Ducks in five. Then we hop over to Buffalo. Buffalo beat Detroit in six. Beat Florida in six. Beat the Rangers in six. And then they win the cup in game seven. We hop on over to the awards. And, uh, yep, like I said, Buffalo. We've had a cup winner, different cup winner every single year. And we're going to keep looking here. Presidents goes to the Florida Panthers for the second time. Nashville with the Clarence. And hop into the awards. Panarin wins the Art Ross and the Hart. Adam Fox wins a Norris but after three consecutive Carlson Norrises. Lady Bing to Braden Point. Joaquim Kamel wins the Calder. Tage Thompson with the Con Smythe. Pyotr Kochekov with the Vesna. Spencer Knight with the Jennings. Malinin takes home the Masterton after Kibi Harju took it home in his rookie season. Tony Amonti picks up his second straight Adams Trophy. Sebastian Ajo with the Selkie. Ted Lindsay goes to Panarin. Pasta with the Rocket. Let's go take a look at the final stats for the entire league here. And see what it looks like. Entire league. Panarin, yep, 119 points. Kachuk had 112. Zabanja had 110. McKinnon, 110. Skinner had 107. Barkov, 104. Kopitar, 103. 103 for Barzell. 102 for Antonin. And point McDavid with 101. Pasta and Matthews and Stutzla at 100. Tage at 100. And then a bunch of guys at 99. League leading in goals. David Pasternak, 58 goals. Matthews had 57. Ovi with 52. Puts him all the way up to 990 goals. A lot of 50 goal guys. Kaprizov, Kachuk, Rantanen, Skinner, Ovi, Matthews, Pasternak. All with 50 plus goals. Your assist leader, Adam Fox, 88 assists. Good lord. And again, let's go check out the rookies here. It didn't want to show it, but as we all know, the rookie screen always seems to screw up in this game. So, take a look here at Buffalo's roster from the playoffs. And I'm just going to make this easier and just go strictly Buffalo. So, Buffalo, you got Tage Thompson, Jeff Skinner. Dylan Cousins, what a top line. Alex Tuck, Victor Olofsson, Adrian Kempe. Five years at 5.2, that's a good contract. Casey Middlestead at 86. 
Krebs at 87. Their third line is 86-87. And then Darlene at 92 with Owen Power at 90. Paterka at 82. Grizzly 83. Fogel 80. What a team. Yeah, no wonder why they won the cup. My god. They don't have a single player 80 overall. I think they're all... Like, what? Devin Levi stepped up in the playoffs. Not really save percentage was. But, whew. but, like I said, Devin Levi really stepped up in the playoffs. Uh, got got that team to a cup final, got them the win. Luke Koning stepped into three games when he needed to and played great. Didn't finish anything with a win, but that's okay. So, let's hop into the offseason with the contracts. And get this out of the way. I will deal with the um, scouts and coaches afterwards. Uh, just off stream I can deal with that one. And yeah. Like I said. A huge development for the forwards here. Laxonen jumps from an 80 to an 84 in one off season. Kapanen goes from a 77. He's at the beginning of last year. He's now an 81. Kiwi Harger remains an 80. That's not ideal. But. Weissman's developed. He was a medium bottom six. He's now a high bottom six. That is big. That is big, big, big. We can sign him for three million. So three million. Get him signed. Piveranta. He's up to a high AHL six. He wants five million dollars. We're going to wait a minute on that one. Check out all. Hey, let's check out the potential guys. See who all developed more. Tara Vinen's up to a 62. He developed a little more. Uh, Hacken's up to a 64. He developed another plus two. We got guys on the way. You love to see that. These AHL guys can go. Anyone that's AHL potential, we're just releasing right now. Because we're at that stage where we know we have the forward prospects and potential. That we can get rid of all these guys. And create space for bigger and better names so release them release Odin he was in the American League cap like this captain is probably the only one we're keeping in Piper Ranta for now just to keep this team with some potential we clear up a lot of cap uh, a lot of space there sign these unsigned guys got a lot of like two medium sixes some me uh, medium nine and some low nines like we have potential now Koisinen welcome to the team Trail, welcome to the team, boys. Mietnan, welcome to the American League. Most likely. These guys, we can sit on them for now. I'll, actually, no, Salah will play. The Again, the NHL guys, we want to sign and play them. That's the thing. So, we want to play them. Even if it's in the minors, I'm okay with playing them. Okay, we gotta remember, these are three-year deals that we're signing them to. That's the only thing. We gotta be cautious of that. We can always buy them out if we need to, but... Blomquist is a low 7, but he's only 17 and he's a 55. I think I'll let him sit for this summer. That's fine. Now, all expiring once again. Marjala definitely re-signing. We're gonna sign him for 3.5. Again, that way, and it's only a one-year deal, so just trying to eat up as much cap space as we can here. That way it prevents us from, uh, anywhere we can save some cap, I mean, uh, spend cap, we will. Okay, this one, again, that was a big one for us to get signed. Minkinen's up to a 71, that's huge. He wants 1.2, we're going to give him 2. Basically, again, we just want to take up that cap space, uh, fill that out. Uh, this guy, he's going to want... We'll give him six million, six and a half, because then it just eats up that cap for us, and it's less space we need to worry about. Then it's only a one-year deal. These guys on one-year deals, it makes a lot of sense for us. Goalies, uh, yep, Mirror Lennon, you're definitely welcome back. You're going to get a max two-way. And the rest of you, Corhonen's up to a 70, That's that helps. We will sign you to a $2 million deal. Uh, AHL guys, hopefully we can get rid of them, would be ideal. 
I will sign them for now. Worst case, we can always move them. Yeah, worst case, we can move these guys. Hope, but hopefully, we can land a big name goalie in free agency. So there we go. Make sure everybody signs, and then that will be the end of this episode. Which means, okay, here we go. Before I get to that, everybody sign. Come on, everybody sign. We're looking good. We're looking good. I think, yep, everybody, looks like everybody has signed, and that is massive for this team. Got a couple guys unsigned still. Gonna leave them unsigned till next season, just because looking at this, like we're at that stage where we can handpick who we want to see play and who we don't. I think Blomqvist will let him, play. he's got, he is finished, right? Yeah, he is. Okay, we just gotta, this guy will sign because he is high enough overall. But a lot of these guys are just not... We're at that stage where we can be a little picky and choosy. Which is okay with me, if I'm being honest. And of course, they're going to sign. Okay, get this up to the final day here. Okay. With that said, you guys. That is the end of this episode. And if you guys like watching the Draft of Glory franchise. Or any other franchise mode. Or if you're into hut content and stuff like that as well. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.